This video is gonna be a lot more reflection on the recent show that we just had at a local coffee shop in my town of Walnut Creek called Rooted. And it's really cool how um, this entire event actually happened because it's a coffee shop that I used to work at. And I wanna tell you guys about it because I think if you're an independent hip hop artist looking to break through and looking to really make that next step in your music career, then you're gonna really wanna hear this. So basically overall, here's how we did the event. Me and my brother A Gabe put this event on. Um, I used to work at the coffee shop, so it was really simple and easy for them to want to actually do the show with us. And we did the show. It was me, him, Jiro is another artist, and King Tahoe. We also had a, a comedy performer come named Josh Katsky. And um, we had my boy Corey come and play keys. And then Gabe's friend MJ Harris also came and did keys. So we had like a whole group of people that was ready to perform and do this thing. We were able to actually borrow equipment from other people and other friends. So we didn't really spend that much on equipment. And uh, obviously paying for the actual venue uh, wasn't really that costly because we were friends with them. So first off, when it comes to doing shows, it, it, it can be really tempting to kind of want to do these pay to play shows or stuff like that. And the truth is you don't want to do that. I would fully recommend you get yourself in contact with the venue and actually talk and communicate to them. Now, here's the other big theme uh, of the event and specifically of my set that I did. So a lot of the songs uh, were performed that were songs that I fully produced. Now, some of the songs were produced by my friend Corey, which is why he came up and did them on stage. But a lot of the songs were also produced by me. Now, my friend Corey, the thing is, we have such a great relationship. We've been doing music together for so long that he's really more of like my partner in how things work. And when it comes to making songs together, he's also a partner with me in my actual production mentorship program called Rapid Fire Music Academy. But, you know, a lot of those songs that I performed were fully produced by me. They were songs that I didn't have to spend money on. I didn't have to wait for somebody to, you know, finish. And in fact, it's funny, the songs that I did that were produced by Corey, we haven't even finished them. We haven't even gotten them out there. He's been so busy working on other people's music. He hasn't really had the amount of time he's needed to get the songs done for me. Totally fine. I was like, bro, it doesn't mean we can't still perform the songs. So even the songs that I did with him, they're not even done. They're not out yet. And they're not mixed and mastered yet. But I have the lyrics ready to go. So why am I telling you all this? The reason I'm telling you this is because the songs mostly that I perform were songs that I made the beat. I mixed and mastered them. I recorded them here at the house. I was able to fill a room of people. We had, I think we sold 62 tickets, right? In the venue, we were only really able to hold about 70. So we almost basically sold out. In fact, we sold 62, but I'm, I'm confident that there was more than 62 people there. I think people probably snuck in and got in for free. But I, we were able to fill up a room of people and I was able to perform songs that I had the control over to do. And that's a very, very, very powerful thing to do. And even a couple months prior, my, my brother Gabe put on another show at an art gallery where the entire set that I did was all produced by me. Like imagine the feeling of getting up on stage and rocking the crowd. That feeling in and of itself is amazing. But then on the, on, on the next part of it, to, be, to, have, to have it all be songs where I made all the beats mixed mastered, like they're all me, you got like, if you haven't done that yet, like it's a feeling that you, you, you got it. You got to have in your life. I mean, it goes beyond, Oh man, it goes beyond monetary. It goes beyond like anything that money can buy. It's beyond an amount of streams. If you really sit and think, damn, I, I produced these songs, right? I didn't buy a beat off beat stars. I didn't pay somebody else to mix and master it. You know, these are me. This is all me, my heart. Even the songs I did with Corey, it's like, that's my brother. I'm in the room with him it's different than buying beats and jacking them off YouTube or relying on producers you don't even know or have a relationship with. So it's inspiring and it makes me realize like I could go rent another venue. I don't need to depend. There's a couple of things. The first thing is not needing to depend on a venue, not needing to depend on a booking company, not needing to depend on a booking manager even really to get shows done. You can do shows locally, you can rent venues, you can put some money down and do it yourself with the people around you. But the other thing is not needing to depend on other people to get your music done. That's a big thing. It's very difficult to make moves in your career and put out music if you have to always buy beats, pay for mixing, mastering, pay for studio time and wait for other people to get your music done. It's honestly just too difficult. And so 
it was amazing, you know? This is really just a reflection video as to how amazing that entire event really was. And to me, the most amazing part was that we had full control of it, me and my team. I had full control of it. We had full control of it. It was us. It wasn't depending on some random booking company. It wasn't me relying on buying like beats on beat stars, like stupid. This was like, nah, this is me. This is us. This is our family, our squad, us doing this. So I really just wanted to throw this video out there for you to, to inspire you to be more of a do it yourself musician, the DIY independent. That first step that you need to take by far, you got to be able to produce your own music. You got to be able to make your own beats, record your own vocals here at the crib, mix and master all by yourself. As hard as you think it is, it's actually not that hard. I actually help artists do that in 90 days. I've got multiple clients that have gotten results. And like, for example, I have a client named Ryan B and Ryan B came into the program, did not, he, he was buying beats on BeatStars, paying to go to studios, paying for mixing mastering. He was paying hundreds and sometimes even a thousand dollars per song. And he joined the program, doesn't know how to play an instrument, doesn't have fancy equipment, had no prior music production experience. And within eight weeks, he's made over 30 beats. And within 10 weeks, he's already recorded and mixed his first fully self-produced song. And he's already writing new songs and getting ready to master that song. Uh, Carlos, two weeks into the program, made his first beat. He's been in the program five weeks. He's made over four beats and he's already finished recording his first self-produced song. In fact, Carlos is a really great story because not only has Carlos not produced a song, Carlos has literally never made a song in his life. This song that he's made, and he, by the way, it's really good. The guy can sing. This song is his first ever song that he has done. So no music production experience, no music making experience, except for singing in the car and singing in the shower no music theory and has already gotten this far austin b he's been in the program about six seven weeks he's already made over seven beats and finished two songs he's recorded one and one's a remix and so if you think about the trajectory these folks these guys are on and you look at like how far they're able to go Ange. Ange came into the program used to take her over three months to make a song and in the first eight weeks she completed two songs joined my rapid fire production sales accelerator and ended up closing seven production clients in her first 30 days. If you really look at the trajectory that my clients are on, think about the, the possibilities that they have. They can, they never have to buy beats. They never have to go anywhere to record vocals except their crib. They never have to pay for mixing, mastering, or wait for anybody to finish songs. Can you imagine how easy it would be for you to make in your music career and go full time if you were able to fully control the music creation process? So if that's not, and you look at me I, and I'm, bro, I'm not even close to where I want to be. Like I'm not even on that level. But what's cool is that I was able to put on a show, produce it all myself with my friends and go on stage and do songs that I produced. And I can make new songs whenever I want. So it leaves me in a trajectory. It, it, it leads me on a path to a much faster and even more successful trajectory than, oh, I got to go buy beats. I got to wait for a producer to send me my stuff back. Even my boy, Corey, who's one of my best friends, he and I make songs together. He produces for me. I don't wait for him to finish my songs. I can go make other songs. If me and him get our songs done, he sends them back, we put them out, awesome. That's great, but I don't have to wait for Corey. I love working with Corey and I'm gonna keep waiting for him, but it's like, I can go, I can go right there. I can go right there and make some music. I can sit where I'm sitting right now with this mic and all this setup, I can go do something right now. It's beautiful. So. You know, if that's something you're interested in, if you want to become your own music producer in 90 days, then you can actually book a call with me below. The call is totally free. Um, but of course, it's a mentorship program. So yes, there's an upfront investment. You know, if that's something you're ready to do, then definitely book that call below. It's not an informational call. It's not a networking call. It's not a let me pick your brain kind of call. It's more of like it's an enrollment call. It's definitely not a sales call, by the way. I'm not going to sell you anything. It's like it's an enrollment call. Do you want to start learning? Do you, or do you have the cash? to invest, you want to do it. If you don't totally chill, like I'm honestly not tripping, but if you do, and it's something you want to get into, click below and book a call with me. And I would definitely love to see what I can do to help you out. All right. So thanks so much. Really appreciate you watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.